Thank you. I, I've been listening to some of the prior speakers, and I realize that the quickest way to get a louder round of applause than that is to mention one of your organizations. So, um, is City Year here? There you go. Year up. Uh, that's that's too easy, as my son says. <laughs> exactly. Uh, look, I've been involved in the connecting uh, youth. Uh, area for quite a long time in my career. Uh, it began back in 1996. I'm not going to take you through a whole history uh, of my career, but in 1996 I attended an event um, around youth violence here in Washington, D.C. And it was a, a panel of youth of about 10, 10 kids and uh, they were asked by then Vice President Al Gore what the most important thing uh, to overcome youth violence would be in their eyes. And without exception, they all said a job. And they all had friends who were involved in violence, they all had experienced it, and they all talked about the importance of a good job. And at the end of that uh, session, uh, the, the, the stage was sort of overrun with people who were delivering their business cards to these kids who had been on the panel and had spoken so eloquently. And I then went out to Anacostia High School about two weeks later, and I tracked down one of the kids, and I asked about all the business cards she had collected that day. And she was really sort of overwhelmed with emotion and, and said, none of them returned my call. Um, I followed up, you know, I did everything they told me to do, uh, and, and, and I couldn't get anywhere. And it was that sense of frustration and disappointment um, that I found really moving at the time. And it was this, this sense of the short attention span that I think people and adults in particular have to this issue of connecting youth um, and engaging youth in meaningful opportunities. And, and, it's, and it's an issue for the day and then, and then we all move on with our lives. And it became apparent to me then how powerful um, that short attention span could be and the impact that it could have on young people's lives. And that was really when I began an organization called the Urban Alliance Foundation, um, which is a program, youth development program here in D.C., now proudly expanded to Baltimore and about to expand to Chicago. Uh, can, exactly. And a shout out to the legendary executive director of Urban Alliance, Veronica Nolan, who's here today. So, um, truly one of the beacons in the, in the field. And at the time, we started with about six kids and, and now um, have served over a thousand kids um, in D.C. and Baltimore and will soon, as I said, expand to, uh, to Chicago. Really engaging young people in a meaningful work experience that leads to a career opportunity, that really helps youth plan their lives, plans their careers. And what I'm proud of working at Bank of America to transition fast forward 16 years is Bank of America's had a long attention span to this issue of youth development. And you heard my colleague Carrie Sullivan talk earlier today about our student leader initiative um, that served about 2,000 youth since it began in 2004. Um, putting students in nonprofit experiences, exposing them to the careers of the nonprofit sector, engaging them in their communities, and really beginning to think about the long term of their lives. Um, we're also very engaged in putting students in our own workplace. Um, Urban Alliance students and others have participated in our banking center, serving as convenient ways to bank ambassadors using your, the savviness of young people with technology, teaching people how to use ATMs, how to bank mobily, how to bank more effectively as opposed to the old fashioned way of going into the uh, banking center waiting for the teller. This really is a skill set that young people have that folks like myself don't have um, that can really serve them in their careers we're really trying to introduce them to the careers in banking uh, in that way. And finally, working with mayors across the country on summer jobs programs this summer, we employed over a thousand, uh, uh, helped to fund the employment of over a thousand students in organizations and cities in partnership with mayors. 
So this is really a program around the private sector, um, the nonprofit sector, and government. We all need to be engaged. We all need to have a long attention span. Um, we can't show up for a day and then forget about this issue. If we're going to overcome 25% and higher unemployment among youth today, we need to pay attention to this issue um, for, for the long haul. So my call to action, uh, I, I am Jewish and we just celebrated uh, Rosh Hashanah on uh, Monday, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> And uh, it is a time for reflection. Um, it's a time for renewal. Um, unfortunately, next week, Yom Kippur is a time for repentance. Um, so I'm not going to ask all of you to fast with me next week on Wednesday. But if you so choose, you know who you are who need to repent. Um, you, you, you can do that on Wednesday, sunset Tuesday to sunset Wednesday. Um, but it, in this time of reflection and renewal, let us all go forward today to realize that we need to pay attention to this issue for a long, long-term commitment. Let's come together in five years and really make sure we've made a dent in the youth unemployment and the youth uh, who are disconnected. Um, we can get at this issue. We can solve this issue if we do it together. Thank you very much.